Welcome to City Block, the Curly Birch. We start on the corner at Erik Dahlbergs Gatan number three. This is the house of the Artisans and Industrialists Association. The association has changed names over the years but still operates here, representing entrepreneurs in their struggle against unnecessary regulations. Sturgatan number 23. In 1892-93, Gothenburg's Artisans and Industrialists Association put up this building. Diligence is excellence. There have been jazz clubs, alternative clubs and now hairstylists here. Once an enormous cupola and spire crowned the corner. Architect Eugen Thorbun designed the house in 1892. Apparently he was inspired by the Hanseatic League and by dance building opposite. Sturgatan number 21. This plaster portal is apparently an imitation of a sandstone one in Berlin. Ah, the horror vacui of French Renaissance. Johansson and his architect son Forshell built this tenement in 1890 trying to disguise its more modest flats with elaborate details. Sturgata number 19. Anders Johansson built this house in 1889 and then took up residence. Instead of brick, he used painted cement plaster in the facade. The colourful paints, imitating layers of brick and sandstone, were restored in 1990. The building continues from the corner at Carl Gustavsgatan number 4. The sign advertises the original shop on the corner, selling butter and eggs. Carl Gustavsgatan number six. And numbers eight and ten. Matilda Hall's girls' school had this house built in 1886. It is still a school today, but co-ed, of course. Augustus got a number 12. The southern half of this block consists of a 1960s brick box. The original church of Bethlehem at Vasagata number 28 was built in 1881. Erik Dahlbergs gatan number 9. All of Vasastaden was posh enough that all flats had servants. In 
Erik Dahlbergsgatan, number seven. And a nearby Harga, stylish hussars, were used to police the riffraff. Erik Dahlbergsgatan, number five. Fredberg tells a story how the nearby Kungsparken was called Tolvskillingsgatan because servant girls could rent a hussar for 12 shillings to take a Sunday stroll in the park and make her friends jealous. I would have thought the money changed hands the other way. We flaunt our trimmed beards in part 147 and the city block called the Ash Tree 